The Ninua national security officials have accused Nigerian security of aiding the smuggling of banned goods into Nigeria through unapproved routes. Kamala Kluche reports there is evidence of smuggling despite the border closure. Nigeria, undoubtedly one of Africa's superpowers, closed all its land borders on August 21 to tackle smuggling in an unprecedented move which is affecting trade across the sub-region. My brothers, we drivers, we are suffering so too much. We get family. Since all goes, we are here. We don't get anything to eat. If trailer no move, we cannot get food to chop. Nobody to give us. David, a truck driver from Togo, is one of the many affected by the border closure. We don't carry smuggling. If they want, make it and come. We are going to open all our load, then we'll check it. Any load will be smuggling, they are going to catch it. Make it allow us work. If we begin the thief now, how are they going to do? The bustling border activities have come to a standstill with goods rotten as queues of heavily loaded trucks are stuck at checkpoint as truck drivers hope Nigerian authorities will reverse their directive. The border closure has been extended to end of January 2020 and Nigeria's neighbors are angry. The suffer the only person they suffer now don't too much. Eh? You don't the person they suffer too much, no be small. Eh? Because anybody now, if the person now they walk before, if they do a lot now before one shop. If you don't do a lot now, you no know shop. If you want to carry something now, everything now nah, person won't carry tomato, go to Nigeria. If you don't go to Nigeria, no fish sell tomato. Tomato pepper, the only person they carry shop for here. If you don't carry and go to Nigeria, no fish sell. No, it's not good thing now. Nah. It's not a good thing. Because eh? since when they don't close this water now, it's not easy for us. Every, everybody, they suffer. Okada now, you know, if you arrive Okada, they carry uh, Basia. People, when we say we get trailer now, you know, if you don't see work, Oga will get trailer, you don't pack. I'm sure at the end of them, they, they, uh, they, they, they do a lot bad. Despite the measures, some goods, including rice, are still smuggled into Nigeria from Benin, allegedly, through the aids of some Nigerian security authorities. Policemen, Nigeria custom, all of them, they come with their car. They can buy rice, tomatoes, all goods with Nigeria, uh, Nigeria ban. They are coming and buy. So, for instance, I mean, this is one of the toys. You can see this is rice over here. Rice that is going or going to be used through the bushes into the other side of the border. That's the Nigerian side. This is one of the concerns that he has raised. We just... Uh, bumped into this one and it's heading into the bushes using the beet and uh, the rice will end up in Nigeria. All right, let's stay on this subject a while longer and go to the phone line and speak to organizer of uh, the national organizer of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Clement Boateng. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you. Um, despite the, the major border closure, Others are still finding their way around to smuggle goods into Nigeria. Now, that seems to be, uh, you know, complicating the issue of Nigeria finally deciding to open the border. How does Guta in Ghana take the fact that although there's a closure, people are still, you know, going ahead to do the reason why the border was closed in the first place? Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Uh, I'm listening to, the, to, to your report, uh, uh, what we are gathering, and even the security people themselves are even engaging in the smuggling of, uh, of this uh, life that, uh, because of that, you know, closing the borders. You, you see that the uh, purpose for which uh, the border was closed uh, is not being uh, totally. Mm. Uh, it's the Nigerians themselves have, you know, have decided you know, to uh, open, you know, uh, the border, then I think it's a, it's a welcome uh, for that matter, uh, the, the trading public. Because uh, listening to your father from the mm. uh, you could you could see the number of uh, stocks that have been piled up there, uh, with goods and loaded in it, are uh, close to, you know, four months, and some of the drivers are being abandoned. Okay. Their truck, uh, up left. And the small you know, which is Going on, right? Not being done by 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 by, 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 by the Nigerians uh, themselves. 
Okay. If our authority must be like the, the push of for that, if not to deal with any food, you know, resort, any right. uh, they are beside, you know, the people in the border, I think it's a, it's a welcome move uh, to, to the business community. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, uh, Clement Boating, National Organizer of Guta. Unfortunately, uh, for lack of time, we'd have to leave it here for now. But uh, just by way of information, we are told that Ghana's President, Nanadu Dankwe Kufuado, and the Nigerian President, uh, uh, Muhammad Buhari, are likely to meet between today and tomorrow. Top of the agenda will be the border closure. We'll keep you posted on that. Stay